you guys. Oh. Oh. At the doctor's office, but it's not for me this time. Um, it's for Mark. He took him back already because he's getting a spinal cord stimulator done. And, but he's probably been back there for like 15 minutes already. Um, so he'll probably be back probably within the next 15 to 20 minutes. They said it shouldn't take long at all. But I've just been watching TV, playing on my iPad, and texting with my granddaughter um, just to kill time. And then when we leave here, I'll probably stop and grab us some food so that way he can eat right away because he hasn't been able to eat since yesterday. And it's almost 2 o'clock, so um, probably get him some food. And, um, yeah, just chill. But I know this procedure is going to be good for him, but um, just kind of waiting waiting for him to get out and I know he's going to be they're going to do some sedation so I know he's probably going to be out of it a little bit when he comes back but um sorry my phone camera is so good I see like all of my dryness and my pores and it's just weird <laughs> but um yeah anywho I'm just going to get back to texting granddaughter and pretty much just wait and chill until he gets out and don't mind me having my mask down i got a covid test yesterday and i'm negative so um i'm in the room with my mask down but i put it up when people come in though but yeah hey guys i just had my surgery today and I just wanted to give you an update because I know you guys like the health videos. Just in some pain and just um, having some bleeding. That's why this is on my nose. But overall, the surgery went well and now it's just recovering from here. So, but it just feels like I have a really bad sinus infection, like in my cheeks and stuff. and. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna rest, but I wanted to do this health video, so that way, if you guys ever need to get it done, you know how it is, but I'm doing good, guys. Hey, guys, how are y'all? I'm doing a little bit better today. Um, I did have to go to the ER this morning because the pain was unbearable. It was unbearable. But I am feeling a lot better now. Um, the inflammation and stuff was so bad. And I guess the ER doctor said they didn't give me and they didn't tell me to take enough pain meds. So um, instead of taking one, I have to take two now. And um, so, but now, um, I mean, I'm feeling a lot better. The pressure was so bad. It was giving me like, it was making me feel like I had a migraine along with like a toothache and like don't mind my dry lips but um, it was just unbearable so um, Tara took me in this morning but now I'm finally about to eat because I need to eat something before I take any more meds because I'm not trying to be doped up and not have nothing on my stomach so but yeah, overall, the pain has been kind of bad, but it's it's not nothing I can't handle. Um, I told my best friend yesterday, I said, you never have to worry about me getting a nose job because after this, I hope I don't get shit else done to my nose because your girl ain't getting it. Fuck that. Um, my eyes are normally dark. Um, I don't think there's any black eyeness going on. Um, so that's good, but... Um, yeah, I mean, y'all see I'm up moving, but they did give me some meds at the hospital, so this could wear off, but that's why I'm trying to do stuff now before it wears off, um, but just more of me and Mark up some lunch, 
It's 12.30. I got to the ER about, um, about 9.30. So I was there for a few hours. Um, just warming Mark up some leftover ribs. And I'm going to eat some pizza. I need something of substance. So I'm going to use the dough of the pizza bread to be my something of substance. But I just wanted to give you guys an update and let y'all know how I was doing. Um, but I'm literally your girls for the rest. Um, they have Wakanda 2 on streaming now. So I might just relax and watch that and um, just rest. But I'll keep you guys updated. Am I really starting this video right as I fall asleep? Like, I just wanted to joke y'all. <laughs> just make y'all think I was finna vlog right before going to bed. Well, I did technically, but I wasn't finna do the video like that. What's up, y'all? Um, it's been a few days since that last clip of my nose update because I needed some rest. Um, because they... The day after that last clip, I had talked to my doctor and I told them I couldn't handle the splints that were in my nose anymore. And, oh no, y'all saw, okay, my bad. Okay, so the clip after this, you guys are going to see them do take the splints out because I, I don't show them actually taken out, but I just did a clip at the doctor's office. Um, so I'll actually insert that here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm at the doctor, and I just got the splits taken out. If you're squeamish, don't look, but look at this. Look how huge these are. This is my finger. Those were in my nose. Oh my gosh, you guys. The relief I have right now, freaking, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this. So much more relief. Hi. So yeah, they took him out because when they called to check on me, see how I was doing, I told them I was in so much pain from the pressure of the splints because it felt like it wanted to push out of this part of my nose because they actually sit like right back here, right into this part. So they, so it was pushing forward on my nose, and I felt like it was like my eyes wanted to burst too because there was so much pressure on my eye socket. Because y'all saw how big them damn splints were. Them shits was bigger than my pinky. Or about the size of them. Yeah, they were bigger than my pinky. I couldn't believe how big they were when they came out. Like, I was mind blown. Like, I even cursed in the office. I said, holy fuck. <laughs> because it was crazy, you know, because of the size. It was like having a baby. It was like instant relief after they took them out. So, I needed to have a full day of relief, have everything, like, die down, the pressure feeling in my face, and the pains that I was having. I'm still having minor pains, like, I still feel sensitivity between this right eyebrow and, like, this temple. Um, I think some nerves got hit between the surgery and the splints. Um, so, I still do feel that. Um, and since they took the splints out, I've been having hella, um, drainage. So, literally been walking around the house with tissue in my nose, walking around with towels, because I have to sneeze out of my mouth, um, and this left nostril is getting affected the most because I just realized this morning that my stitches that are on the inside for my deviated septum are sticking out to the left, so I think it's tickling my nose and it's been making me sneeze because my left eye has been watering and I've been sneezing like crazy and I feel all of that on my left side. And that's why, because all the stitches are sticking out that way. This side, the stitches are none sticking out on this side. They're all sticking out one way. Which I'm glad I'd rather deal with that feeling on one side versus like both sides. Because I've literally been having like to rub my eyes and my face and stuff. But I'd rather have that sneezing sensation than the pain from the splints. If you, could, if you need the nose surgery and you talk to your doctors. And if they don't have to do splints, I would not recommend them. Or I would recommend to them to do a smaller size. Because the pressure that I felt from those splints was ridiculously horrible. Um, that is what made the first couple days 
so bad. Like, okay, so let's look at my calendar. Um, all right, so here's my calendar. Today is the ninth. I got it done the third. So I've been almost a whole week since the surgery. Um, tomorrow will make it a week. And I would say on Tuesday they took the splint out. So yesterday I gave myself a break. And then today is Thursday. Um, so it's literally been a week. I'm feeling so much better. Um, yeah, I have a lot of drainage and I sound like I have a cold because I'm so stuffy. But I'd rather deal with that than the pain from the splints. Um, so been a busy the week of surgery was busy as hell um that week i had appointments almost every day leading up to the surgery on friday and if they weren't appointments for me they were appointments for, for the hubby and so we both had a lot of appointments we were trying to get a lot of stuff done before my surgery but literally the week of my surgery was when everybody can get us in so he had a procedure done he got a spinal cord stimulator put into his back it was like that seven day trial that you have to do first before the surgery so they put that in like two days before my surgery so he had that he was dealing with and soreness in his back he couldn't bend over he couldn't twist and turn because he would pull the leads out of his back um so he was real limited on his movement but that's the only time they could get him in so he ended up doing that and then um so he had that for two days he was feeling a little bit better but still was sore come the day of my surgery and then i had that surgery it was a day surgery um, I had to go in at 8.20, was scheduled for a 10.20 surgery time, and then, um, I, we got home that day about 3.30, but after the hospital, we just stopped at, like, Taco Bell and got some food, obviously, I wasn't cooking, and I, I'm the cooker of the house, so we got Taco Bell on the way home, and then literally ate out the whole weekend. I meal prepped, no, Saturday, we ate the meal prep. <laughs> Woo! see see y'all sorry it just comes randomly because it's tickling my nose and it moves more when i talk so i may have spurts of sneezing when i'm talking to you guys but yeah so so yeah was trying to recover we had so much pressure i mainly slept the weekend it was so hard to eat because all of this in here was hurting this upper lip was hurting um just to chew because of the split it was so hard to eat it was painful and i couldn't taste anything so eating was not enjoyable i had to force myself to eat just so i could take my antibiotics and my pain meds and stuff like that without getting a major stomach ache um so i had to force myself to eat and but i slept most of the time and so did the hubby so it actually worked out because he wasn't doing too well and then um you know he was still in pain from his lower back from the and the points where they had to put the leads in because you know so um that was still bothering him and then um and then come the weekend he ended up getting a gout flare up and for those of you who don't know what gout is gout is a pain basically like the most painful form of arthritis you can get it's like a crystallization in your joints and the pain is so bad like you don't even want blankets on that part of your body like a sheet type of thing it's so painful he ended up dealing with that while we're both trying to recover and so he was in bed most of the days because he you can't walk you know he was using walkers and things like that so it was crazy so the times where I wasn't feeling like drugged up I got up ordered some food waited for the delivery person to come ate and then went back to sleep type of thing so it was just, it was a long weekend um but um starting yesterday pretty much is when we both really fully felt the best <laughs> so um yeah we ended up going to walmart getting a few things we needed um you know like just just felt good enough to do stuff like i did stuff like the day they took out my splint but that was because like it was like instant relief but then that day i was feeling sore and so i just took another you know like some Tylenol and ibuprofen and then um, just like took a nap and stuff but but yeah like overall I feel good I was so scared about them changing the shape of my nose because we all have this little thing in the middle the septum part in the middle so to speak of our noses it separates your left and right you know canals and mine was deviated so they had to fix that but the way they had to do it they took out a big hunk of it 
out the middle so I don't have a lot of septum in there um, anymore I have the bridge that's keeping my nose its shape so um, I've been really sensitive to hitting it because I don't want to crack it type of thing especially right now with me just recently having surgery um, so yesterday out of all days I freaking hit my nose twice hit my nose while we were in the car at Walmart was like aching for a little bit felt better and then last night into this morning when I was asleep I like to sleep with an eye mask on mask because he'll put on like you know a show or something like King of Queens or Leave it to Beaver or something like that while we're sleeping um so I normally wear earplugs and eye mask and I pulled my eye mask down too hard and it hit right here and even right now it's a little bit sore but it woke me up out of my sleep I was just like holy shit <laughs> you know so I have to be really mindful of of that um I still feel like some soreness here um which is standard you know I got surgery and they did go in um on my right side with a balloon and cracked it open back here because my canal was like blocked to the point where I hardly had hardly had an airflow coming through my right nostril. So, you know, it's going to be sore. And I do have, like, the issues with, you know, the little sensitivity back here. But that's because they went in with the balloon and cracked it open. So, um, so yeah, I got... Oh, they... Okay, so they did, did the deviated septum. They did the balloon. And they, there's also these six tubulars in our noses. Three on each side. And they went through, I think, mostly on the right side. But I think they did both and filed down all those tubulars because mines were all inflamed. So they had to file those down. Um, so um, what we thought was me having really bad allergies was by my canals being so blocked, things were going in there and just sitting and causing sinus like issues, it, sinus infections, you know, where I thought I would have sneezing attacks and all that stuff. So pollen and dander and grass and trees and all that stuff um, where they thought I was allergic to. I wasn't. They did an allergy test. None of them came back as me allergic. But when I was outside a lot, when I was cleaning a house, kicking up dust, all of that was affecting me as if I had bad allergies. But in turns, by my nasal canals being so narrow and damn near closed, when stuff went in there, it just sat. So it triggered it. So I'm hoping that now I won't have all that issue when I do go fishing in the summertime or when I'm cleaning out a closet or cleaning under the bed where there's a lot of dust that I don't get these flare-ups like I used to. Fingers crossed. But I'll keep you guys posted with that. But I wanted to give you guys an update, let you know I'm doing so much better. Um, and trying to get back to a normal routine. I have a work meeting in about 30 minutes. Um, so I'm going to do that. It's my first day back to work since last week, Monday. <laughs> so I've been off for almost two weeks of work um, for my second job. So I'm going to get back into the swing of things with that. And um, uh, I have another meeting at a... So I have a meeting at 10. It's 9.27. I have a meeting at 11. And then I have to go to the car dealership at 1 because they have to put some exhaust tips on my car. Um, so uh, I have a few things due today, due, due to get done today. Um, on top of it, it's supposed to start snowing. So I'm trying to knock everything out so I can be back home and not have to worry about being out there in the snow. Um, luckily, I have a better car that drives in the snow now. So that's exciting. Um, but, but yeah, so stop chatting with y'all. I'm going to get myself together. 